Hi, welcome to this video of PowerShell training. In this video, we will discuss about the introduction to PowerShell. So what is PowerShell? If you search on internet, you will get the answers like it is a command line shell, scripting language and automation platform. Indeed, it is a command line shell, uh, scripting language and automation platform. But if you ask me from my eyes, PowerShell is a complete different way of thinking, logical thinking. So you have to think how things can be uh, done differently or efficiently. So let's take an example. If I ask you to gather the details about operating system of 10 computers, if you are a Windows administrator, you will log into those servers or computers and get the details. If you are a virtual center administrator, VMware administrator, you will get those details from virtual center. If you are managing an inventory, you will get those details from inventory. And if you are a scripter, you will write a script for it. So it's not about which way is correct or which is incorrect. It's about which way is efficient, which way you are comfortable with. That's how it is. PowerShell is not just about learning commands or syntax. It's about the way to find the commands which are required to perform your actions. Finding the syntax, how to use them. It's also about what to do when the things does not work as expected, how to get help. So believe me, uh, writing uh, commands, codes and script is the very last part in PowerShell. First of all, you have to uh, create a workflow or think logically how that actions can be performed. Uh, what is the sequence of actions and then you have to write that code. Let's discuss about the core principle of PowerShell. Again, this is just my view. You will not find any reference uh, over the internet. So in PowerShell, uh, here I have presented a basic diagram of a computer wherein we provide some input, then those are processed by processor and the output is uh, presented on the screen or in the form of printouts. Similarly, in PowerShell, what we do is we provide some inputs in the form of commands or some inputs to, the, to those commands. Then those commands do their processing and present the output either on the screen or we can have it in the output files or maybe send emails or perform some actions. So this core principle is applicable to each and every command or script that you write in PowerShell. So let's take an example of logical thinking. Suppose I have six boxes with equal weight and there is just one box with slightly large weight. And if we have to identify that box, what we will do is we have to do the weight of all boxes and then we identify the target box. In another method, what we can do is we can just divide six boxes into two groups. Uh, we do the weight of two groups, we will get a group with larger weight. In that particular group, we, the, we do the weight for two boxes to identify the target box. So in first method, we have to uh, do the weight six times. And in second method, we just have to do it twice to identify the target box. So it's not about method one or method two, which is right or uh, incorrect. So imagine if instead of six boxes, there are 600 boxes. So with method one, you have to write more than 600 lines of code to identify that box. And in second method, we can just write a function for the four steps and identify that box. So that's how it is. Okay. So this is the learning roadmap in PowerShell. So if you are totally uh, a beginner, what you have to do is you have to first learn about the basic concepts about PowerShell. Then you learn about basic commands, how to use them. Then after getting comfortable with basic commands, you write a script with one or two lines. These are also very powerful scripts and capable enough to handle uh, multiple or several objects. Once you are, you know, comfortable with one or two line scripts, you then write some scripts to gather information uh, from multiple items, computers. 
and then you proceed to manipulate the output in different formats <coughs> and <coughs> once you are able to manipulate or generate the output in required formats you can go ahead with, with the uh, scripts which can perform uh, several activities and once you learn all these things you can just proceed to create some complex script which is uh, a true desire of a passionate uh, PowerShell developer. So for the last step, you does not have to have some kind of training or trainer. You become your own trainer once you are through with all the uh, previous steps. Post training or learning this uh, skill, what you have to do is you have to keep on learning new things, uh, gain experience about uh, different things and practice different codes you have to challenge yourself to write uh, different types of codes and scripts uh, so that you gain more and more knowledge about this technology i hope uh, this is informative to you and thank you for watching this video have a good day